Hi, Symphonic Wire. This is the long, detailed diction video for the Hymne du Soleil of Lily Boulanger. I'll go through each line of text and then I'll give an explanation as to the sounds and how you make them. Here's the beginning. Du soleil que René bénissant la puissance. Du is like D with your lips saying OU. So du, D, du. Soleil, soleil like subtle. Qui René, René not René, René like de, re. Bénissant. Now, the E has an, the little E has an accent aigu on it. That means there's an E sound. So bénissant la puissance. You could say puissance, and it's not going to be that different, but puis, that U sound, is the same as du. Puissance, and the N of sans is not spoken, so it's just sans sans with a nasal vowel. En. You get used to that in French. Top of page two. Avec tout l'univers. Now, this one, T O U T, is tout, like a normal U vowel. Avec tout l'univers, célébrant son retour. Now, avec looks like it sounds. Tout is just an U vowel, like we said. The T is silent. L'univers. You start with an L sound, and then that U sound needs to be made, just like before. Célébrant. You have two accent aigus going in that way. Son retour. Son, S-O-N, the N is silent. Top of page three. Couronné de splendeur, il se lève, il s'élance. Now, couronné, always roll or flip your R's, no matter when you're speaking them. It's never an R sound. De splendeur, D-E is de. Splendeur, the N is silent, and deur. Usually a pucker or something like that at the end of the vowel. Il se lève. Now here's a weird thing. Look at the V-E of lev, and you see the accent is the other way. That's an accent grave. So instead of leave, it's lev. The grave softens the vowel. Now I take the V of lev, and I elide it onto the I-L. So it sounds like il se lève, il s'élance. Il se lève, il s'élance. There's that accent aigu again on s'élance. And the N is silent. Square two. Le rêve de la terre est un hymne d'amour. The previous page, one more time, square two. Le rêve et rêve is the same sound in the two syllables. De la terre, that means of the earth. Est un. The S is silent in EST, so it's at an hymne, and there's another elision between the N of un, et un hymne, et un hymne, d'amour, d'amour is love. Top of page five. Let's start with the soprano part. Actually, let's start with the bass part at square three. And then there are some extra words in the soprano and alto part and tenor part that we'll cover. Set coursier, set, the P is silent. Coursier is just like the accent aigu sound. En flamme, en flamme, the second syllable of flamme is called a schwa sound. That is the e uh sound. En flamme, the n is silent. L'horizon, l'horizon, and the n is also silent. That's another nasal vowel. En flamme, l'horizon. De leur brûlant haleine. Now, de leur is that same sort of puckered e uh sound. Brûlante, don't worry about the circumflex over the bru. Brûlant haleine. There's another elision between t of brûlant haleine. Brûlant haleine. Instead of brûlant haleine, we just connect them together. The soprano part. Cet coursier, quand partant le dieu, quand partant, that nasal vowel comes back, le dieu, contient, 
N is silent in both syllables. Contient à peine, peine like a pen to write with. Enflamme l'horizon de le brûlant haleine. That's going to take some practice because the rhythm is really tricky. Here's the bottom on page six. Au soleil fécond, fécond, tu parais. C'est tu, that same du sound in tu parais. The solo part, you can do some work on your own if you're interested in that, but I'll just speak the text anyway. Avec ses champs en fleurs, ses monts, ses bois épais, les vastes mers de te feu embrasser, embrasser, pardon me. L'univers plus jeune et plus frais. Now the choir part at the bottom of page 8 is reminiscent of what happened before. Du soleil qui renaît, célébrant la puissance. If you turn the page, it's exactly the same text as the beginning. So let's just say it and you say it after me. Du soleil qui renaît, bénissons la puissance. You notice how nasal that sens is. Avec tout l'univers, célébrant son retour. Bottom of page 11. Couronné de splendeur, il se lève, il s'élance. Il se lève, il s'élance. And then the last page. Re, le rêve de la terre. Et un hymne d'amour. If you use this video and press pause and practice the sounds, you're going to be really prepared to get this right when it comes time for octet testing and all of that other stuff. Do a little bit every day. Go through this video, especially if you're not really used to language. Good luck.